How's it guys? This is Joey Control Brandon with EXP Realty. Today we're going to talk about the home buying process and some questions that you should ask yourself before buying a home. Stick around, I'll teach you guys how you can make this process a whole lot smoother. Let's rock! Alright guys, today we're going to talk about the home buying process here on Oahu. If you guys haven't already, please give me the like and subscribe button down below and feel free to follow me on my social media platforms and my contact information if you guys have any questions about buying, renting, or selling your home here on Oahu. With that being said, let's talk about the home buying process here on Oahu. Number one, neighborhoods. You made an awesome decision by starting your home equity journey with me as your realtor. So how is living over here? The average person usually lives three to five years or maybe even longer. Here in Hawaii, the real estate price will always continue to appreciate as a result of this never ending seller's market because of a low supply and high demand here on this island. By paying off your mortgage every single year and you build equity, you are able to save enough for a larger down payment on your next home. If you ever wonder about what neighborhood you should live in, I recently made a video about living over in Honolulu as well as the amenities that it offers. If you like the hustle and bustle of a city, Honolulu and Kapolei are the best places to go. If you guys are looking for a family lifestyle, the North Shore, Aiea, Pearl City, Waipahu are awesome cities. For places that get a little bit more rain but a lot of tropical sunshine, Kaneohe and Kailua are good places as well. If you guys are in military and you love to golf, I recently made a video about the military golf courses here on Oahu. Number two, fixing, renovating your home. As you continue to build appreciation on your home, you also need to maintain the upkeep, resulting in some repairs and some sweat equity. Now I do want to mention that in addition with the lumber shortage that's been going on for the past couple of years, material costs and everything that is shipped to Hawaii, it's a whole lot more expensive. The ships bring all the exports in have to pass along the price to the customer. Although the high prices of home supplies are part of the reason why the home prices are a lot more expensive here, the remodels that you build on your home can build enormous equity along the room. My recommendation for regular appliances, instead of going to Home Depot for your fridges and your benches, I recommend going to Sam's Club and Costco. They will still offer one of the best discounts around. But what if you don't know how to fix something or it's going to take a lot of your time? One of the best things you can do is make friends with the locals, with the community. If you become close friends with them and be an awesome neighbor, they'll be happy to help. Again, here in Hawaii, the relationships and building ohana, whether it's your friends, family, is really important. Number three, jobs and credit. Having a stable job with steady income will help you pay off the mortgage in no time. Whether it's working from home or in the office, but do you have current credit card debt or any loans that you have to pay off? Are you responsible at paying off those debts? Do you have a credit score that's above 620? Are your monthly debt payments less than 43% of your monthly income? If you have a debt to income ratio that is less than 43%, you increase your chances of getting a better loan. And another thing to keep in mind is that the monthly mortgage payment should equate to 28 to 31% of your monthly income. If you have a partner or a spouse that's on the title, it will make the payments a whole lot smoother. Number four, down payments and fees. Understand the purchase contract a whole lot smoother in terms of payments. Here's a brief guideline of how things would work out. Earnest money deposit would be one to three percent of the purchase price. Depending on your loan, the down payment would be 3% for a conventional, 3.5% for an FHA. You could also do 20%, but that's not necessary. Although, you won't have to pay private mortgage insurance. Assuming that we do go under contract and into escrow, Will you have the funds inside your bank account automatically or will you need help by getting cash funds or something from your investments? And these include the EMD, the down payment, the appraisal, the inspection, closing costs, the escrow costs, and some other fees that may include some other repairs. All those monies either need to be in H1, where it's inside the bank account ready to go, no questions asked, or in H2, where at some point during the escrow process, you're going to need to ask for help by getting cash funds from a family friend or just get it from a retirement account. Number five, the home payment. The big reason why Hawaii is so expensive is because the land that it's on is really expensive, but the home is not as expensive. And it all comes down to the luxury of location, scarcity, and how much demand people want for that space. Now, I do want to mention that the down payment does not include closing costs, escrow fees, home inspection, and the appraisal. When you do sign on the mortgage, some other fees that you need to look out for include property taxes, insurance, HOA fees, water, electricity, furniture, air nets, and repairs. Number six, home lifestyle and situation. Whether you're married, have a large family, you're downsizing, or you're single, or you want some absolute privacy, there's always something for everybody. 
Number seven, must-haves and wants. Basic things that you want to look for is if you want a single-family home, condo, townhouse, what kind of condition is it in, how many beds and baths do you want, and how much did you get pre-approved from your lender. When you decide on that, then you can look at your budget and see if you want these wants. Mountain views, ocean views, yard size, plants, types of home finishes, solar, pool, color schemes, and where is it close by? What kind of schools, malls? I highly recommend sticking with the must-haves because this island is so small that there are a lot of great things to do for the entire family. There are beaches around the entire island and there's tropical sunshine and rain going on the entire year, making it a well enjoyable life. Number eight, home commitment. Home ownership in Hawaii is not for everyone and should only be done if you're ready to build equity on your own or you're ready to build your finances responsibly. Is your relationship very healthy? Are you willing to maintain the property? Who's going to be on the title? If you alone or your partner is not ready to go, there's no need to rush. There's always a great time to start your home equity journey another time. If your finances is in order and you've been waiting a long time to own a piece of your paradise, now is a great time to own in Hawaii. If you have your finances ready to go and you're ready to hit the ground running, start now. The average home process usually takes at least three months and you expect yourself to look for at least more homes than you would expect. Have your team ready. By team, we're talking about the accountant, the lawyer, the termite inspector, the home inspector, your family. And despite increasing interest rates, the market will still move fast over here. As of June 2022, you will still see homes come off the market 7 to 14 days. On a lot of homes, you can expect to have 10 to 15 offers. If you have a home that you like so much, realize that we need to act fast and make sure we put in an offer. There's a big sales market here in Hawaii. The real question is, do you have an agent that will be with you by your side and help you along the way? And now for some bonus tips. Because we're on a tropical island and we receive a lot of rain, the sellers need to disclose if there's mold growing somewhere around the house. In many of the older homes, you'll see single wall panels. For the VA loan, termite inspection is always required. Because real estate here in Hawaii is super high, your entitlement is a whole lot higher, as well as your BAH. If you do plan to do repairs, but well, what I've heard is $500 permit fees for every $18 of repair. Because we're on a tropical island, I highly recommend getting flood insurance as a result of the rains that do come down here on the island. All right, guys, that concludes the home buying process here on Oahu. If you guys enjoyed my video, please hit the like and subscribe button and also comment in the section below showing me that you guys appreciate the stuff that I put out. I'll be glad to put out more later on in the future. If you guys are interested in buying or selling here on Oahu, I'm a licensed realtor for EXP Realty. I'll be glad to help you. Be sure to follow me on my social media platforms. I got my contact information below. If you guys have any other questions about real estate here on Oahu. Again, my name is Joey Control Prather with EXP Realty. And I'll see you guys soon. Let's rock.